WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We have a pretty calm day of trading so far with markets somewhat flat to in the green. NASDAQ right now, the only index currently in the red, negative by three points, trading at 8,027. With that said, the NASDAQ 100 up 16 points to 77.68. You've got the Dow up 41 points, trading at 26,760. And the S&P's up about four points right now, trading 29.55. Gold contract, quite a run. We're now up $18.70 at 1418.80. We've got oil, negative 25 cents at 57.19. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. The 10 year up 13 ticks, 127.29. The 30 year up 27 ticks, 155.14. And the dollar index up excuse me, down 168 ticks at 95,550. And Bitcoin up $1,059 from Friday, sitting basically right at 1,100 on the dot. We'll start it off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. As you can see, pretty tight trading range. I mean, it doesn't get much tighter in the Dow. There's your opening bell. We're trading at 26,753. We're within about 15 points from that level. The whole range, only about 40 points in the Dow from where we've been today. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. Seems to be trending lower from the overnight high we had last night at around midnight of 77.88. Currently trading 77.66. There's your S&P 500. We were lower right around 10 a.m. of 29.52. We trade up to almost 29.60. You got the S&Ps trading at 29.55. There's your gold contract. Peaked above 14.20 briefly this morning, about an hour and a half ago. You got gold trading at 14.18.85. Crude oil backing off a bit. We're above $58 early this morning. We actually dipped below $57 just about an hour and a half ago. We got crude trading at 57.19 and the euro U.S. dollar trading at 113.89. In terms of what else you have happening out there, quite a deal for the gambling sector as El Dorado Resorts going to buy Caesars Entertainment for about $8.5 billion with a B dollars as they have the investor Carl Icahn behind that deal. And uh, quite a reaction, though, on the two of them. Caesars first, liking that news as quite a premium on the closing price. El Dorado Resorts, though, not so much as those investors worry about spending that money and the supposed synergies. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now. Dave White at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien live at 3. Have a great Monday.